miraculous, exalted name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we thank God for this core continuing order religious education. Thank you for your patience. Jesus is Lord. He's in total control, even when we're out of control. He holds everything in his hands. Uh, this evening, we're going to uh, be looking at a familiar passage of scripture in John chapter 10. And I just preached this not too long ago where um, the emphasis on these messages is our conflict cannot control us. Uh, and, and one of the things in John chapter 10, it is a picture of Jesus as shepherd and we as sheep. And there's a sheepfold, a rectangular enclosure that different shepherds put their sheep in at night. And in the morning, the shepherd comes and he calls his sheep out by name. And they hear his voice and they follow him. Let me say this to you about our conflict with our families, our faith, our focus, our finish. Uh, there are times that we become confused. Really times we, 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 we become confused and we are combating with ourselves on the inside. So when Jesus uses this illustration of shepherd and sheep, he uses a powerful personal pronoun, my sheep hear my voice. Now let me stop pausing for it. The, uh, the majesty of his voice is that he is clear. You say, well, I, I, I can't discern when he's clear. Well, you got to wait. You got to keep praying. And you got to say, Lord, I can't hear you. It's unclear. Because the very majesty, my sheep, they hear my voice. So if there's something blocking the hearing, like conflict or contempt or uh, disturbances, then we got to keep listening for the majesty of his voice. If you're saved, the majesty of his voice will come through. It may not come when you just, you know, when you uh, 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 just pray all the time. You got to pull back and say, Lord, I can't hear you. The majesty of his voice is clear. I talk to Christians who claim they can't hear God. They don't want to hear God. God may say something you don't want to hear. His voice is clear. The majesty, my sheep, they hear my voice when I call. They come. His, his, his voice is not only clear, but his voice is comforting. And, and if you're in a conflict situation and it's unclear, you got to keep listening. And if you're in a conflict situation, expect comforting. God's going to comfort you. God's going to send grace to hold you together. God's going to send grace to encourage your heart. God's going to send grace with instructions what to do. And sometimes the hardest thing is us just being still and knowing that he is God. He's clear. His voice is comforting. Comforting. Whatever your conflict or whatever you're uh, battling this morning, Jesus' voice is comforting. And then Jesus' voice has confirmation. Not only my sheep hear my voice and they follow me, but I give unto them eternal life. Amen. And no man will pluck them out of my hand. You got his protections, provisions, promotions. Everything is in Jesus. That picture of the shepherd and sheep from Psalm 23, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not lack. We we can we can we can go to sleep on that one on the first verse. I'm not lacking when he's my shepherd. He's got my back, he's got my front, he's got my past, he's got my history, he's got my hurts, he's he's got my anger, he's got my confusion. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not lack. Now listen, he maketh me. We don't always want to lie down in green pastures. 
Sometimes we are full of energies that don't belong to God. We're trying to work things out on our own. We're trying to figure something out. We're trying to put something together. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. Sheep will not lie down unless they feel restful, unless they feel protected, unless the shepherd is near them. So one of the things we want to say this morning is that in spite of our conflict, there's a majesty to his voice. It's clear. Look for clarity. And the medicine of his voice is comforting. When I spend time in God's word and I reach out to Jesus, he's comforting me. He's not ignoring you. He's comforting you. And then we get confirmation Ultimately, God will confirm his will, his word, his way for you and your family. That's what gives us rest. Hallelujah. So if your conflict is causing conditions that are bringing fear, fighting, turmoil, you and I need to understand he's clear, He's comforting, and he will confirm your blessings. God bless you. Have a great day. Jesus loves you, and I do too.